and rising family welcome to asher and god making africa home again one family at a time good to see you family how are you all doing we are doing great here in ghana land of the black stars well done to the guys that played the soccer the other day sorry the football <laughs> the other day um i wish we could all do better one way or the other and um what i learned from that football game is that here in africa we get overly emotional and we try to celebrate when it's not even time to do that we just have to keep our eyes on the ball eyes on the goal keep focused yeah until we get to the end i mean they know that this is who we are this is what we do and they take advantage of that all the time so i think it's high time we learned our lessons and stop being overly emotional overly sentimental you know and just do it okay and we can do we've always done better than this so we need to know where it's gone wrong so that we can make things better again for ourselves that's my tip <laughs> i don't know if you agree with me but that's what i noticed okay guys we are going to talk about inflation again in ghana okay but today i'll give you tips on how i'm able to maneuver my shopping um yes yeah, so that i can you know purchase things on on good prices for for us to use in the family right so if you're new in ghana you really want to um listen to this you really want to listen to what i'm saying because it will help you right so when i came here newly i i didn't know the cost of items in the market so when they know you're new here they're going to triple the cost for you and in your head you'll be calculating changing the currency from ghana cities to um pounds or us dollars wherever you're coming from and you think oh okay it's, it's okay but you can't shop like that here they're gonna rip you off so i learned a few lessons harsh ones on my own and now yeah i know how to price i know the cost of items but there's a possibility you're gonna make one or two mistakes but <laughs> don't let that put you off okay all right now what i've noticed in ghana just bear this in mind that it's not a fast moving society okay they are really chilled out kind of um yeah i would say laid back sometimes it could be very very frustrating but you have to bear in mind that you're already in africa and um you got to make the most of what you have i think that's what winners do they make the most of what was available to them at the moment so you're not really gonna get this you know stay at home shop and have things delivered to you online uh, I've not tried it, but times I did, I didn't want to try it. I didn't quite like the way they were going about the payment, so I was very, you know, cautious about using my my debit card. So I didn't do that. So what you want to do is, if you're doing food shopping, like um, if you want to buy things like tomatoes, um, um yams, plantains, pepper, and that's chili. Um, few things like that um, and even spices I think the best place for you to go to is the market is the open market okay so where we live um, we go to a nearby market because what it is here they have um, every four market days just like um, people from the Iwo land we have four market days and we name our children according to the days they are born right so where we live they have four market days okay so they, they there's a market on Monday I mean, every four market, there's a market on Monday and then there's another one on a Tuesday, on a, on a Thursday. So it's not as if there are no, there's no market in between the days. There's market in between the days, but the main market days are the days that you can get everything you want. People coming from far and wide, farmers bringing in fresh stuffs and then in bulk and you have people buying of them and retailing. So they're selling wholesale. And then you have um, retailers buying so what i do is that i go to the market nearby that's the the the, the, the small market like the farmer's market close to where i live and i shop so sometimes it's best if you have a big family so if i wanted to buy some oranges maybe 10 cities worth of oranges they may not, they may not have it there and then especially if i've gone so early i mean early like eight o'clock okay so they have it in basket so they could sell it for 20 cities so if i had a large family out that would be a great deal you know a good deal for me to buy a basket of oranges for for 20 cities and i can make juices do whatever thing i want to do with it you know but it wouldn't be wise for me to do that because it's going to be a waste so i will have to go to the retailers 
So I wouldn't want to go to the people that are selling baskets. Okay, because yeah, it will, it will pointless doing that. So you have to wait till they sell it to the retailers and then they can sell for 10 cities. Okay, so they can make their profit. But I know there's this day I went to the market, they were selling papo in a basket. I'm telling the lady, I do not want the one in the basket. I just want only one. She said, but it's only 12 cities. There were lots of papo in the basket. I have never seen such big, so much papo in my life before. I mean, being sold in a basket. I bought it. And I ate them continuously, like every day, <laughs> every day, until they all ripened and they all finished. You see? So that was a good deal for me. So that's where you want to go to shop then if you're buying your um pepper peppers for stews and you know just chilies you go to the open market as well you'll be surprised at how much pepper they're going to give you for five cities even two cities they sell quite a lot okay and then the plantains as well now this is the planting season i will have lots of ripe plantains in the market so they really really want to push those ones off quickly because you know what's going to happen when they're overripe they're going to go bad they're going to throw them away so I bought some plantains the other day for 35 cities. I just had to buy it and um, I'm going to freeze some of them for real. They were so massive, you know, but then the green, the, the unripe ones as the green ones that are a bit more dear than the, you know, ripe ones. So you want to go to the market, the open market for items like that okay um your cabbage things for salads you want to go to the open market to buy them they don't weigh them i mean the other day i went to buy carrots the lady was just piling the carrots but and th these are homegrown carrots so you find your organic food there organic that's what they tell us i believe so because these are local farmers but the thing is do you trust the fertilizers they use are they you know homemade fertilizers or are they imported ones that's my problem they are homegrown vegetables and of course you're supporting the local farmers as well so um there we bought lots of carrots you buy 10 10 cities worth of carrots 20 cities worth of carrots so what and this is how i, ch I shop so I, if i wanted to buy 30 cities worth of carrots i just don't go saying give me 30 cities worth of carrots so i really want i would want to know how much they cost at first so i say to the lady can you give me five cities worth of carrots please then i'll know what she's given me for five cities so when she gives it to me i put it away you, you don't want them to see it. just put it in the bag just a little bit away okay and then you go on like okay can i have 10 cities worth of carrots now and then that way until you make it up to that is CD. So you, when you shop, when you, when you do that, you just put it away because when they're looking at it, yeah, <laughs> they want to reduce what they're giving you. So that's a tip. Yeah, so don't just go buy 30 CDs worth of carrots. Start with little so that you may end up not buying, you may end up not buying 30, 30 CDs worth of carrots after all when you see how much, I mean, how big it is. You may end up buying like 15 CDs worth of carrots or even 20. So that's what I do. The same with green pepper anything you need for salad so you want to buy those things in the open market are you looking to build your dream home in ghana or are you building already would you benefit from regular site visits to monitor your building and receive regular progress reports well if that's the case and that's you look no further asher and gag consultancy at your service we offer the following services electrical design construction monitoring inspections site progress reports consultation for all items mep witnessing of testing and commissioning periodic snagging vetting of specialist subcontractors report we also report site activities to you to hopefully help you spend your money efficiently and much much more get in contact for your building needs details on the screen asher and gag consultancy making africa home again one family at a time Now, it's not as if they don't sell these things in the supermarket they will cut your neck off if you went to buy those things those items in the supermarket so say for example I'm getting um, now there's a um, they call it Olunka Olunka that's a is a measuring um, container I think is actually um, I think is about um, three liters yeah, I think it's about three liters. And then they also have a mini paint bucket. That's how they sell. So they, they put all the, they put the tomato, the, the, whether it's tomatoes you're buying or um, the uh, onions, whatever vegetable, yeah, onions or, yeah. 
or even pepper so or even ginger so they put it in that long car container yeah and they will charge you maybe um 40 cities depending on how much they buy at that time and how much the profit they're gonna make so it's always best to buy from the market so if i wanted to buy onions i'll go for one long car or i'll go for a paint bucket it's better than buying that in the supermarket because even when you buy um the long car they will still add a little bit extra for you so that's the trade here no matter what you buy they'll still add a little thing for you like an extra tomatoes an extra onions whatever thing so you've bought it's um seven o'clock in the morning i'm sweating like hell the sun is out and i'm really really sweating you can imagine <laughs> okay we carry on so that's the that's the tip um yeah so in the supermarket they usually they can weigh them or they have them in um in packs but what you find but what you find in the supermarket is usually the ones that are imported i don't know why they sell loads of imported vegetables in the supermarkets whereas they could farm those things i mean in england they're usually this is um this, this is made in england being from the english farm they are so proud of their products but here they're not you know i don't know why they're not proud of they probably tell you oh this is imported imported carrots imported they, they're just they're not even good they're not really good so i wouldn't advise anyone to buy the imported carrots because when you leave them in, keep them in the fridge you see they start going black and they start decaying start feeling funny looking funny the ones i buy in the market are usually they last longer because i wash them scrape them put them in the fridge and they last for a very long time another good thing to buy here is i mean if you eat meat um beef or um what do you call it goat meat they have abattoirs here they 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 sell fresh ones you don't have to buy the frozen ones or the ones in the supermarket so they cut it right there for you they give you what you want so times i want to buy beef i go to the abattoirs you find them in the corners mostly everywhere you go and then you can buy fresh beef so i i, I wouldn't advise you to buy beef in the supermarket it's always good to get the ones from the local abattoirs i know people will, will say that they're good stand at the end of the day they're all good i think the, the local ones supply the the supermarkets with the beef as well and um they also have foreign beef in the supermarket which i i don't really buy i'm not really that much of a beef person but sometimes i do cook beef yeah so i buy from the abattoirs and i store in my freezer um, another thing I'm not quite happy about buying here is um, fish. So I find it difficult to find fresh, fresh fish. Most people sell frozen fish here, and um, they sell it, sell them in, in it's not even in, in cartons, in boxes. That's how they sell. And um, I, I don't really like to buy frozen fish. I like to buy my fish, my fish fresh, and then I wash it, then freeze it, or do whatever thing I want to do with it. Uh, but here, yeah, I mean, that's what you what you get. So um, there's no guarantee about the fish. I don't know whether they are imported or whether they are local. I don't know. But um, you can travel to some of the to some. Like my husband went to um, Volta region the other day. He was able to buy um, fresh fish on the roadside. He bought lots of them, and then we, we prepared them and we froze them okay we're still they're still i think that was about two months ago they're still there in the freezer thank god i have people coming around christmas so they'll help to help us to eat it down <laughs> all right so regarding the fresh fish if you travel just ask around um if you where you have fisherman um areas riverine areas you can buy fresh fish but as for the in the city they mostly sell frozen fish, but if you know where they sell fresh fish, please do let me know, especially mackerel, yeah, um, and um, tilapia fresh fish. So what they normally do, let me tell you what the, the, the trick, which I don't quite like. So they get these, these fish, they, the frozen ones, they defrost it, and they tell you it's fresh, but it's not fresh. That's the thing, it's not fresh. So I'm very wary about um, stunts like that yeah if you're a fish person and you want to eat your fish fresh you need to find where they i don't but i'm going to find out apart from going to riverine areas i mean the volta region and some you know areas where you have beaches 
um i do not know anywhere they sell fresh fish so if you have an idea please do let me know and if i do find out i'll come back here and tell you where you can find your fresh fish things for breakfast like um you got your milk your sugar and um butter i would like to buy those things from the supermarket you know um i think they'll they'll be better preserved and also things like um honey i'd rather buy them from the supermarket i i ask how i feel i feel that um they'll be that you buy the ones that are not um you know they haven't added stuffs in it because so much because because they add a lot of things to their honey here and i found that out myself uh, so you really want to avoid stuff like that um, Apples I buy them in the supermarket because I get varieties You know, yeah, and they are actually preserved in a cool place whereas in the market They're very hot. So I prefer to buy my apples in the supermarket Then when it comes to potatoes the Irish potatoes, I don't know why they don't farm loads of Irish potatoes here I think I found some myself. They are very good, but we don't get loads of it So they come here so expensive so um you find them i normally buy in the supermarket because i rarely find them in the market so i buy in the supermarket i don't know if they're imported um, but they are quite expensive in the supermarket but i buy them there because i can't find them in the market yes another thing i like to talk about is the red oil i like to buy my red oil from the supermarket the reason being that i was told that they add red substance to the, to the oil in the market. Obviously not everybody, but I was warned to be very careful of the red oil. But so you wouldn't know the difference. So you see this red oil is looking so reddish. I'm like, oh, this looks so, so nice. And they'll tell you it's been mixed with something. So you have to be very careful. So I'll advise you to buy your red oil from a supermarket, a branded supermarket, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I, I wouldn't buy my red oil I did that once um they told me it wasn't good oil i felt so bad and i stopped buying from the market i buy from the supermarket now i'm not saying that everybody does that i'm just saying that this is what i've observed you know so i try to avoid trouble for myself so i shop where i feel more comfortable yeah um coconut oil if you use vegetable oil if you use um, olive oil, you can buy them in the supermarket. I think you find varieties, you find the bigger ones there, and um, I think it, it, it's, it's fine to buy them there. I haven't checked in the market for those items, but I would prefer to buy them in the supermarket. But I think if you find it in a local, in normal market, local market, is it still okay to buy? Is oil is still okay to buy in the local market? Yeah, but about coconut oil i haven't seen it in the local market yet i only see it in supermarkets but if i'm able to find it in the local market i will buy it because i don't think they can add well you never know you never know if they could add anything to coconut oil i don't know do you know what forget what i said buy from the supermarket because if it's not good i'll return it to them tell them that it feels i mean it's like it's not good like i think something has been added to it yeah, so it's best to buy those things in the supermarket than to buy in the normal market for your fresh food buy in the normal market but for these other ones please buy in the supermarket at least that's what i do but yeah you try and see what works for you okay so guys i hope these tips have helped you today um, please write on the comment section if you have any questions or if you want to give me any ideas that would be highly welcomed and thank you guys for watching our videos thank you for your nice comments thank you for engaging thank you so much guys we do this because we love what we do and we thank you because you engage us and because we know that you love what we do thank you for all your encouragement so if you like this video don't forget to like it press the like button, subscribe, share this video to your friends and let them know what's happening here. And um, thank you our, our PayPal givers. Thank you so much for supporting this um, channel. Everybody that has helped us one way or the other. Thank you so much. We are really happy doing this and we're glad you're here with us. So um, from me is Kemesia, from um, Asha is Yabeshe and um, Nyamishira. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.